So today I want to talk about tempo and rest. And I know I've mentioned it in a few other videos, but I just wanted to make sure that you understood that. So tempo is the amount of time that the muscle is under tension, okay, during an exercise. So if I am doing a bicep curl, okay, that the amount of time I curl up and go down, that is how long the muscle is under tension, okay? So the eccentric, okay, here we are getting a little bit technical, but I need you to understand this. The, the easy part of the exercise, so for a bicep curl, going down would be the easiest, right? The pull up is the hard, is the first number. The tempo is a three digit number. It's usually 201, 211, 301, 501, something like that. So the first number is the eccentric. So on a, on a bicep curl, it would be the way down. So if it's 211, you would go two seconds down, one up, one hold. So the middle number is the hold, and then the up part is the last number, okay? If it's a 211 tempo and it's a squat, the way down is the easy part, right? So that's the first number. The middle number is the pause, and the last number is the hard part, which is a push up from a squat, right? So if it's a 2-1-1 tempo for a squat, you're going down in two seconds, holds for a second, up for a second, okay? If I'm doing, say, an overhead extension with a dumbbell, okay, and it's a 2-0-1 tempo, it's, the easy part is on the way down, this is the top part. So we're going easy, two, oh, one, one, two on the way down, and there's zero holds, so just go straight up for one. So one, two, one, okay? So if you're doing a tricep pull down and it's two, one, one tempo, we're going up for two, because that's the easy part, one for the holds, and, and, and one on the, on the way down. Okay, so hopefully now you understand what tempo is and it's, it's, it's just there to guide you so that you don't run through the reps really quickly because if you do, then the muscle isn't under tension and in order for the muscle to grow so that you can tone up and see results, it's important for it to be under tension for a certain amount of time per set, okay? Uh, so very important for you to control that. And like I said, at the very beginning, it's really hard because you're not used to slowing down the exercises and you're not used to seeing the numbers. But I promise you that it becomes so much easier in second nature. You just are like 501, then you know, oh, okay, these are just like really slow. And then you don't have to like count every single second, you know, but you'll just know you got to go a lot slower on the way down and faster on the way up, okay? So I don't necessarily need you to like, have a timer and be crazy about it. Just understand if it's a 301 tempo, the going down is gonna be a lot slower, okay? And rest is pretty easy, and I've mentioned this before. It's just making sure that you rest for the same amount, of, the, the amount of time it's there so that you're working at the right intensity, okay? And you will find that usually you rest after two exercises, after three exercises, or after four exercises. Sometimes with the full body workouts, we rest after six or eight exercises. Just make sure that you do rest for the amount of time that it is. And when you see zero rest, you just don't really rest. You just move on to the next exercise. So when you see zero, it just means it's like a, a circuit, okay? You just are gonna keep going with minimal amount of rest, just the amount of rest you need to like, you know, grab some water or get your heart rate back down, okay? And that is it.